I'm butterfly to light. And this video is about sun energy, sex house, sun. Okay. Which is the sun with it being the passion, with it being like our fiery driven type energy, you know, um, how we see ourselves, how we see other people, how we want to come across, how we want to pretty much interact with just society, public. And let's just face it, there are a lot of people that do relationships for the public. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but, you know, what's really going on behind the doors, behind closed doors? You know, like, the the sun, sex house, sun energy could be like the take me, take pictures, social media type couples that you see. Um, where there's a lot of energy that they feed off with each other. Because when you're dealing with sextile energy, hence the word sex, tile, right? You're dealing with energy that finds each other pretty attractive. Like they attract each other and they are passionate more than anything. You know, there could be like a lustful aspect to this energy. It's not just, we're, we could just be friends, you know. I'm not saying you can be friends with this energy, maybe friends with benefits, but it's, there's no approach in the situation like, okay, we could just be, or we're just friends because there's going to be some type of attraction there. And, um, but that's good in a relationship, right? So sun, sex, house, sex, house, sun, energy, energies are signs together is pretty good when it comes to relationships. So what are sex owls? What is sex owls? Okay, so it's when you're taking one element and you're crossing it with the other elements, okay? But they're not necessarily opposition. Like, for example, let's say you have um, a Gemini. Air, um, Gemini, which is air, sex towel, a... Mm, Aries, Leo, Sag, or something like that, which are fire. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sextile, Leo, Sag, and Aries. They're fire and air. That's Sextile energy because they work well together. You know, air fuel, blows, fuels, spreads fire to its maximum potential, you know. And then fire ha it actually uh, ignite. Like, it, there's oxygen that operates within fire you know fire has a way of like motivating inspiring air okay if that makes any sense listen i'm not trying to get technical about all this stuff okay we're talking about sex energies here so soon my point is okay so let's take uh virgo taurus capcorn and that energy is sextile scorpio pisces cancers right because the energy mixes well together earth supports water water has a way of also supporting earth you know, water has a way, I mean, supports earth. Water nourishes earth. You put water just enough and not too much because, like, there's enough twist to the story, okay? But water, think about how land and grass and nature grows when the rain hits it. And you water the plants and flowers. My point is, is that, my point is, is this. These energies do good together. When they come together, they create another force, literally. Like, they are able to grow. They are able to expand. They are able to feed off of each other. And I'm not saying it, is the, it can't operate in a negative way as well. Because, like I said, too much air, the fire is going to become bigger, bigger, and bigger. And burn something down. Too, you know, too much fire, the air just gets consumed and just starts being everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Too much water and it drowns and swamps out the land. And too much land, it sucks up the water. Okay? So it's really still with sex out energy, you have to understand that it's through operating out of the balance of the two um is where it works really good. You know, once you start crossing the lines and blurring the lines with it and there's too much of one energy feeding in or overpowering the other one, we get something else. And let me tell you, it's very, very hard to operate in a balance. Like I said, I understand like a lot of the stuff that I'm saying, like it's easier said than done, you know, even for me. <laughs> Sometimes, a lot of times. Um, but still, all in all, 
sextile energy is attracted to each other. It's a passionate energy. Um, you just, you, you, you vibe with each other. It's not having too much of the same energy to where it's like, okay, well, we agree on everything. And because we agree on everything, it's getting kind of boring. You know, I need some other type of experience, you know, or not having the energy to where it's like, okay, we have a mutual understanding of each other. We, we, we have a mutual understanding. Um, I have an issue with you. You have an issue with me, how we approach situations. But at the same time, we never get anything solved. It's not opposition, you know, type energy to where it's like, okay, well, I hate you. You hate me because we are totally different and we struggle to pull each other together. It's that energy. It's like, man, like you're different, but not too different. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're the same, but not exactly the same. You're just right. He's like that that pork, the, the porridge thing, think magic, the story. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, this porridge is not too hot. It's not too cold. It's just right. It's that type of vibe. So, yes, out of the energies and the compatibility aspect, sex high energy is compatible with each other. And, like, a lot of signs like other signs that are sextile to them and even if it's not in the sun sign you can find like this sextile aspect taking place in other parts of the chart too you know um if i like i said i've already said something negative about it because see you still are dealing with the sun here and with the sun what did i tell you you're dealing with ego you're always dealing with surface most of the time and it's like I want my agenda to be pushed and I want my agenda pushed more than yours because you're, you're fueling each other. And then the other person is like, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, you're not really in control of me. Like you want your agenda to be pushed. I want my agenda to be pushed too. And I'm about to push mine more than yours. So, and then that's when you come with the water oversaturating the earth, you know, the water signs over saturating it. And then it's like, earth is like, okay, it's kind of too emotional. Like, listen, we can't get anywhere off of fantasy land. We got work to do. And then the water is like, earth, hold up. Wait a minute. Like, listen, bro, you know what I'm saying? Don't oh, be over here drowning out all the romance. Like, you can't have a relationship without the romance. You know, can we get a little bit of emotion? And then you have, like, the fire. Like, wait a minute, air. Like, you blowing, listen, mm -mm, I ain't trying to burn that. Like, I'm not trying to burn everything I built down. Like, come on, back up with the air, you know? Um, And then you have, like, the air, like, fire, chill. Chill. I'm feeling suffocated. Like, I'm feeling, like, burnt out with your passion and your, like, the constant attention and stuff. Like, give me a break. So, sex high energy is highly attracted to each other. They do really well when it does come to getting along, relating to each other, having the similarities but then the differences, and um, motivating each other too. But it's just like comes at a balance, like everything. Like so far, all of the compatibilities I've seen take place had to come out of balance. And when you're talking about the sun, it's different from talking about the moon compatibility. You know, when you talk about Sun and Mars, it's different if we're talking about moon. Okay, moon compatibility. So when I go and I start discussing moon, um, sextile moon, it becomes totally different, right? But with suns, you got more of like your personal selfish agenda at play. You have more of your ego at play, okay? So this has been Sun, Sextile, Sun. I'm your girl. Maybe I'm not your girl, but I'm still butterfly to like. Deuces.